Jim Ron once said, don't wish it was easier, but wish you were better. All of us are here for one reason and one reason only, to get better so that we no longer have to get blank in doing math question on exam papers. And we have a secret for you, an Easter egg. Some of you may say, if you stay with us all the way until the end in this tutorial video. I'll hand over my time to Teacher of the Day, Eun Zheng Hao. Hello guys. Today, we'll be going through... Uh, come on, let me clip this one. It's very hard to clip. Okay, cut that out. <laughs> Okay, so we are going to look at the, the roots of the quadratic equation and this is a topic that is very famous in additional math. Okay, the roots of the quadratic equation 2x squared minus 12x plus 7 equals 0 are 2 alpha plus beta and 2 beta plus alpha. Find the quadratic equation with roots alpha cubed and beta cubed. Okay, so we will give you a few minutes to do this question. And as usual, I'll be providing some hints. So the hint is what is the product and what is the sum of roots. So let's say if ax squared, so given ax squared plus b x plus c equals to 0, the product of the roots is equal to neg uh, c over a, and the sum of the roots is negative b over a. Okay, so since we have done the question, let's go through the answers. So, we definitely need to make use of this very heavily. So we want to as, a, as an additional exercise, you can try to think of why the product of roots is c over a and the sum of roots is negative b over a. Okay, So let's just use this equation for now. We want to find a quadratic equation with roots alpha cubed and beta cubed. So this means that uh, suppose ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0, is the uh, equation. This means that negative b over a is equal to the sum of the roots, which are alpha cubed and beta cubed. So which is equal to alpha cubed plus beta cubed. Also, c over a is given by alpha cubed, beta cubed. So our goal is to find what is this and what is this? And we have our goal is to find alpha cube and beta we have to find alpha cube plus beta cube and alpha cube beta cube using just this information. Okay? So from the equation 2x squared minus 12x plus 7 equals 0, what is the product and what is the sum of the roots? So let's say the sum of the roots first. What are the sum of the roots? So the sum of the roots is simply negative b over a. So it's negative of minus 12 over 2, which is 6. What's the product of the roots? Well, the product of the roots is just 7 over 2. Okay? So what is the sum of the roots in terms of alpha and beta? It's just 3 alpha plus 3 beta. Because I just need to add 2 alpha plus alpha, beta plus 2 beta. So this is just, let me just write it here, 2 alpha plus beta plus 2 beta plus alpha. This is equal to 3 beta plus 3 alpha. Okay, so now we want to find the product of the root in terms of alpha and beta. So this guy is equal to 2 alpha plus beta times 2 beta plus alpha. And we can sort of expand it to get 4 alpha beta. So this one multiplied with this one. 2 alpha times alpha. So it's 2 alpha squared. Beta times 2 beta. 
n alpha times beta. And we can actually combine alpha beta plus 4 alpha beta and give us 5 alpha beta. Okay, so 7 over 2 is this, and 6 is equal to 3 beta plus 3 alpha. That means, well, we can simplify this further, that means alpha plus beta equals to 2. Okay, so, um, so now what we want to find is alpha cube plus beta cube, and alpha cube beta cube. Let's start with alpha cube plus beta cube first. Okay, let's start with alpha cube plus beta cube. This guy, hmm, how to find this? Actually, this is very difficult to find. One trick is to use factorization to find this. So alpha cube plus beta cube is, can be factorized into alpha plus beta times alpha square minus alpha beta plus beta square. Okay? So, oh, we have alpha plus beta, which is equal to 2. Oh, okay, we got this part. Now we need to find this part. Okay, so, uh, how to find this? This is very, very, very complex. One thing we can employ is to simplify this so that we can find a bit of find more information out of this. Okay, 5 alpha beta plus 2 alpha square plus 2 beta square. Hmm, can we sort of make alpha beta come out by itself? So now we have 7 over 2 equals to this, and we know alpha plus beta equals to 2. Actually, we can do something very smart over here. So, 5 alpha beta plus 2 alpha square plus 2 beta square is equal to 7 over 2. Now we're just going to get rid of alpha square and beta square by squaring this equation over here. So alpha plus beta equals to 2, that means alpha plus beta square is equal to 4. And this is how we get alpha square plus beta square plus 2 alpha beta is equal to 4 as well. Okay, so we can actually double this whole equation, multiply, and we can actually get rid of this and this, and some of the alpha beta. So let's just write it here. So I'm just going to times 2, times 2. Double on both sides. So we have 2 alpha square plus 2 beta square plus 4 alpha beta is equals to 8. And actually this has a lot of resemblance between uh, between these two expressions. We can do a simple subtraction. So let's say this is one, equation 1, this is equation 2. Then we just take equation number 1 minus equation number 2. Why? Because if we take equation 1 minus equation 2, 2 beta square con uh, is cancelled by 2 beta square at the bottom equation. 2 alpha square is cancelled by 2 alpha square on this equation number 2. And we can remove all the 2 alpha square and 2 beta squares. So what remains is 5 alpha beta minus 4 alpha beta is equal to 7 over 2 minus 8. And this gives us alpha beta is equal to Let's do some math here. 7 over 2 minus 16 over 2 is equal to 9 over 2 negative. Okay, so now we got alpha beta. Oh, nice, we have alpha beta over here. But now we have to find alpha square plus beta square. Oh, how to find alpha square plus beta square? Hmm, maybe we can use this alpha plus beta square over here. Okay, so we know that alpha square plus beta square plus 2 alpha beta equals to 4. This is just similar to alpha square plus beta square mi minus alpha beta. But you just need to minus more alpha betas from this. So let's go on to write alpha square plus beta square minus alpha beta is equals to alpha square plus beta square plus 2 alpha beta. Why do we want to write this? It's because we know the value. This is equal to 4. 
minus 3 times alpha beta. Why we want to write this is because we know what is alpha beta and 3 times alpha beta is equal to 9 over, negative 9 over 2. And this gives us 4 minus 3 times negative 9 over 2. And this is 4 plus 27 over 2, which is 35 over 2. Now we got one part done, this alpha cube plus beta cube. Now let's try finding what is alpha cube times beta cube over here. Wow, how to find alpha cube and beta cube? Actually, we have alpha beta. We just need to find the cube of it. Alpha beta is negative 9 over 2. So negative 9 over 2 cube. And it is 9 to the power of 3 is 729. And 2 cube is 8. And negative 1 to the power of 3 is negative 1. So therefore, we have found alpha cube, beta cube. And now we are ready to put all of this into a quadratic equation. And the quadratic equation is this. So, given that AX, uh, given this one and these two numbers, we can actually just substitute everything in to this equation. Okay? So, let's say x squared. Uh, so the sum is sum of roots is equal to 35 over 2. And the product is equals to negative 729 over 8. Okay? Now what equation will give us uh, will give us a sum and product of this? Actually, we just need to substitute everything in. So let's say a is equal to 1. Then we will have, if a goes to 1, then the product of roots is just c. Then the product is c, and the sum is negative b. Then we, can, we are done, actually. So x squared minus b. And b is this, so it's negative 30 over 2 x plus c plus c is negative 7 to 9 over 8 and equals to 0. So one this is the equation that we are looking for. Okay? If they want integer coefficients, we just simply multiply this by 8 so that we can get rid of this uh, denominator. Okay? But right now this is good enough. Okay, so now you see this question, you will not get blank again. Okay. Yes, so to conclude, Jim Ron said, don't wish it was easier, but wish you were better. And right now you have finished watching this tutorial, means you are getting better already, and we like you for that. And here's the Easter egg. You stand a chance to get featured on our channel, simply commenting any questions you have, urging question you have regarding O-level math or any question you wish to ask us, and we are more than happy to answer them for you. With that, we wish you a great day ahead. See you in the next one. Peace. Don't get blank. Don't get blank.